Hey, are you comes with a view? <laughs> you want to show us your rig? Yeah, let's check it out. Guys, we are here in beautiful Winnipeg, Canada. And we've just met up with our homie Scott, who is comes with a view on Instagram. How's it going, guys? You guys are super lucky today. Scott is gonna give you a full tour of his setup. It's amazing. Get ready to think our van is. Yeah. <laughs> He's no, done an incredible kidding. job. It's yeah. very cool. And uh, excited for you guys to come have a look. 2016 170 non 4x4 Sprinter. Most of my plumbing tanks are underneath the vehicle, but I didn't have. Um, any water in the winter and I want to do a bunch of snowboarding this winter so I rigged this up. So I just got two simple jugs. One fresh, one gray and if I want you know, I could swap it out and have two fresh. First thing you walk in I got the swivel chair like Eamon and Beck in there, right? This is Ellie's chair usually. The dog, that's what it's got there. Heater right here, that's what we just finished installing on their van. So yep. I've had it. And it's great, I've been in minus 30 in this and had it to plus 20 Celsius in here for all the American watchers. <laughs> you do the conversion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the wardrobe. This is, most people when they see this, they can't believe how much storage I have. And then the light that turns on when you open it. Yeah, that's a nice stuff. touch for sure. Since like a lot of people when they do the van life thing, they try to get away from winter so you don't need all your winter clothes. Mm -hmm. I like to do winter stuff, so. I need a bit more clothing storage and someone who's just right. get away with swim trunks all the You're time. Kind of I mean, you don't have a female partner in this situation. Yeah, you go. I could, I could. He, he's got room. Like, this is like. Ladies, Scott's got room. Ladies, <laughs> ladies. <laughs> for a self employed female that lives at home still. <laughs> <laughs> then I've got the camera gear and stuff in this one. This is beautiful, guys. Look this at this. Is, uh, some of this stuff's not in here right now. This is my drone, camera gear. I got some. Tea from you guys. Oh, log it. Log it. Right Chaiwalachai.com. <laughs> we gotta like zoom in. Get some Free shipping over fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the kitchen. Yeah. Right here is like kind of kitchen bathroom. Cool. So I got the window. I have an induction two burner cooktop. Um, so I cook all, lots in the van. Um, got little baby. Guys, hold on, hold on. This is game changing for anyone that lives in a van or is doing research about a van. This is what you have to do. Our system sucks compared to this. I installed these magnetic baby latches so you can see it's got a key and as soon as I touch it, it opens. So as soon as I close the drawer, it's locked. So all I need to look and see are the drawers locked. Are they and closed it, and they're locked. He just waves it over there. And I just, oh my God. And it opens. So I got that on both sides, key on both sides. This one's like coffee grinder, blender, kettle. These ones are just like coffee storage and tea. This is kind of cool. This is where that's where the fridge is. So I got a fridge freezer. Top pulls out. Sink right here. This is actually, I love this. this so? Yeah, I put it like in the counter because you're always getting soap. Just like we have right one too. There. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I have a big, I actually run an electric hot water tank. That is like quite like 12 gallon hot water tank. There's my water pump. So that is, as far as van hot water tanks are concerned, is that is pretty next large. level. So you're gonna run your shower. Obviously, you can do dishes with hot water. After surfing, rinse off and yeah, that's nice. Um, so that I make hot water from solar and off the alternator I'm driving. Yeah. Uh, this one's just uh, bathroom stuff. Same thing. Got the key up here. Find the sweet spot. Open it up. Uh, this is garbage. Garbage is a little IKEA thing, and I got a bunch of cleaning products and stuff down here. Once my batteries are, have absorbed and started floating, I use an auxiliary charge to dump excess solar into my hot water tank. So I needed to have an auxiliary charge port. Um, yeah, we don't know what that means either, guys. Don't. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's it's cool, and it hooks to this thing here and to my inverter. This is a little Bluetooth dongle. So I can bring it up on my phone. Whoa. What my, uh, bring that up right now so you guys can see what it looks like. But I can see what my solar consumption is based off a little app on my phone. Pulling down 4.8 apps, I'm at 97% full. My batteries are 13 amp hours away from full. How live is that? Instant. Wow. And then at this current draw, I would have two days before I needed sun. The control panel. So I've got 
all these switches so I got interior lights, fan, exterior racks on the light. This one turns on my router, water pump, fridge. So let's talk about interior lights here. How many LEDs do you have? Too many. I think I bought a 12 pack and just <laughs> felt like many. I had to use them all. <laughs> yeah. One, this two, place three, lights four, up. Five, six, seven, At eight, night, it's like seven. a glowing cabin. So I've got 12 LEDs in the roof and then undermounts on each side. Yeah. And then they're on a nice little dimmer here just got off Amazon so I can drop it down. Oh, remote. And then when I'm in bed, I don't have to get up. I can just be laying in bed. Boom. Turn them off. That's on. key. So I got my S bar here. This is. So that set the temperature, simple. This is just a little temperature thing, so it's 23 out. So you can see I've been as cold as minus 30 in here and as hot as plus 40. Wow. I can tell you that that's Winnipeg and that is Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> this all opens up, so if I need to work on anything back here, I can get in there and try to troubleshoot things. Guys, look how amazing that is. It's like super organized. Yeah, I have a wiring diagram, so I know what every wire is. This pulls out and this is my router right there. Nice. And I've got a fan. This one is dishes and more stuff so the septic doesn't stink. It's like a big part of living. If you're gonna have gray water and black water, like for sure. You just don't want it to smell. For sure. This piece lifts out right here, and then it's a shower pan, so I just take this out. That's that's awesome. Very and creative I shower design. Shower right in here, just like so. And then hooks on there. Shower curtain drops down. With the grate lifted out, then I just stand in here. Shower in a van's just meant to get clean. It's not. Yeah, and you've got some area to put some. Yeah, I got some soap shampoo. And stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, cool. I have this little mount, which is kind of handy. That like it's a suction, so I'll stick this on the outside of the van. The hose is long enough, so. If you want to shower outside. Want to shower outside. Awesome. I only shower inside if I'm in in city and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. This one's just storage, this side, this bench, and then all of my solar guts and underneath this one. Yeah. This is my bed, so this pushes down, and then the side cushions come into the middle, and then I sleep right here. Yeah, so I put this thing on, so the table actually, so I'll put it kind of where it's supposed to be. There, lock it in place. So it goes forward and back, so I can move and get out of the way. Yeah. And then also we'll go, Side to side. So that walk, is awesome. So I can walk by it. Yeah. And it fully spins 180, yeah, 360. Yeah, so, so if I want it to spin the other way, I just rotate the table and then it would go the other way. I'm working on a build guide. By the time this video goes up, it will 100% not be done. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> if you guys do have questions, feel free to leave comments in yeah, below. Leave comments. Scott find me will on answer. Them. I'll, answer. I do answer them. It may take me a couple days, but I get back to everybody. I don't have the stock tires. I've got um, all terrain tires on there. So I put the lights on after. That's a recent addition, actually. I've got my two panels up there, 520 watts, so 260 each. I've got the Thule roof rack carrier. So you can see here, I've got my dump valve. So this side dumps the black water, this side dumps the gray water. Uh, yeah, so you can see the two tanks there. Here's the fresh water tank and the fill just kind of poking out the bottom here. The ladder is really handy because I do go up a lot to get stuff out of the roof rack carrier. And you built this as well, right? Yeah. It's done a pretty good job. Look guys, it actually it kind of mirrored the contour of the van. So it's got that little angle. That's a really nice detail. The area that we're standing right now, this typically is where my surfboards sit. So from here to here. Um, start with the long board, takes up that and then put the short board on top of that. I've got the high lift jack mounted here. So I can, if I ever get stuck really bad, which I have been. And then I've got the roof. Probably do a here. YouTube story about that one day. Yeah, I could do one about that. And then right behind Eamon is a little antenna for my router. That's what that is there. This guy? Yeah. Cue the outro. That is all we have for you guys this week. We hope you enjoyed touring Scott's rig as much as we liked checking it out. One of those things that van lifers love to do is see what other people have done with their vans. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. That way we know you want to see more content just like this. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, guys. We're going to link those below. Follow Scott if you have any specific questions. Hit him up. He's ready to get back to everyone. Until next week. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs>